Welcome back to the workshop. This is just a quick update on the update. Um, uh, yesterday I managed to get the uh, ELS working. A um, couple of hiccups along the way, but uh, I thought I'd do uh, uh, just a quick video just to give you a little taster of what's coming up uh, in the future. Straight over to the lathe and we'll get into it. And this is going to be a quick uh, whiz around the stepper motor installation. I've printed off another um, support for the uh, spindle motor. Uh, designed up and printed off a cover. That will come up to the uh, proper cover that goes on the lathe. Well, that's got to be hacked out of that a bit. And... Uh, there we are, they, there's a little bit of slack in there, but that's not going to be a problem in the slightest. It's quite uh, stable. I have got provision to screw it into this box, but at the moment it doesn't look like it's going to be needing it. So I'm going to leave those out for the time being, and uh, if I need them at a later stage, well, I'll bolt them on. You can, uh, that's the uh, support bracket. I've uh, put a couple of grub screws in the mounting on here, two grub screws on the spindle motor. Well, they're not actually grub screws, I couldn't get those in tight enough, so I've had to put Alan socket head Alan bolts in there and uh, that's not done up tight yet just put that on to check the alignment of the belt and uh, well, so far it's so good so I'm quite pleased with that tied up the wiring to get that out of the way of everything that's moving on the encoder and uh, Tidied up the wiring on the encoder, and I'm just uh, next job is to sort out the enclosure box and do all the wiring in there. Then I'll be ready for a test. At the moment, I'm going in for a cup of tea. You probably heard my wife calling then, and uh, yeah, I'll bring you back a little later. Well, tomorrow actually. So here we are at the uh, temporary setup for the electronic lead screw. As you can see, I've got it uh, mounted on the top of the lathe's headstock. The enclosure box is here. Everything's fitted in it, but the wiring is uh, something of a lash up because inevitably I'm waiting for delivery of um, various cables. Uh, that sort of thing is just not available near here and it all has to come by post. So, there we go. I'll uh, switch it on at the wall and I'll uh, hopefully get a picture. There we go, it's on. And uh, where they are, I've... let me just move the camera down slightly. There's the drive to the... Uh, lead screw which is unlocked at the moment, let's turn it on and <laughs> nothing happens I'll tell you what, let's go to the test mode And there we go. I'll get used to this menu eventually. 
you can see that the lead screw is being turned and that would be the equivalent of 10 millimeters. We'll get a dial gauge secondarily and uh, well, I'll have to move the camera so you can get a shot of it but the idea is to oh, no, you can't see the blasted display can you there we go I'll move the camera properly in a minute and you'll see how to see the display and the uh, dial gauge um, in fact I'll do that now so, bring you back in a minute or so. Uh, I can't get this all in shot, but what I've done is move the saddle so that the dial indicator is almost touching the, um, well, the top slide actually, uh, just out of shot. I'll bring the carriage forward and that's moving it towards now if you look on the dial you should see that move shortly there we go that's taken the backlash out of the system now I'll zero that without moving it hopefully and then do a 10 millimeter test run and if I've got the angle right and there's not too much sun shining in through the window you'll see that the dial gauge has actually come up with 9.9 millimeters for the life of me I can't get it to go exactly 10 I don't know why um, but earlier on the lead screw was making some awful clunking noises so I'm putting it down to a badly made lead screw or some sort of backlash in the lead screw drive no I can't feel any and uh, well let's have a go on another go um, uh, when I tried it earlier it was getting consistently 9.95 and 9.96 not the 10 mil I was expecting, but that's close enough uh, for what I'm going to do with the lathe. And uh, I'll just have to investigate it a little later. So off we go again. Here comes another 10, or nearly 10 millimetres. Uh, 9.91 there. So like I say, I'm putting it down to an inconsistently made lead screw. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it until I can find out uh, uh, something different. I'm just going to have to put up with it. So there we are. I'm happy that that's working uh, well to my satisfaction, if not anybody else's. And... Uh, I think that'll probably do for now. It was a very quick catch up I know but uh, until these cables come for the enclosure I can't really um, do anything sensible that uh, sort of wraps it up. When the cable does come which should be Monday, it's today, Saturday, I hope they'd arrive today but they didn't. Uh, I'll redo the cables and mount the enclosure on the side of the bench uh, next time when you come back which won't be for uh, oh, over a week i would imagine right things are beginning getting done around here um everything should be uh, all set away so there we are if you have been thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time Bye for now.